Hi everyone! Today we're going to study inverse Laplace transforms by partial fractions. Let us review partial fractions. We have here a table showing five forms of fractional function. On the right side, these are the corresponding forms of the partial fraction respectively. Let's see example 1. Find Laplace inverse of 7s minus 1 all over s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 3. Step 1 says express the function into partial fractions. Let's copy the fraction down here. We can see that the fraction is of the form like this. And we have the corresponding partial fraction form. So it will be a over s plus 1 plus b over s plus 2 plus c over s plus 3. Let's consider this to be equation 1. Then let us solve for the values a, b, and c. First thing to do now is to multiply this equation by the LCD. Take note that the LCD is the denominator of the fraction on the left side. Multiplying by LCD, this equation becomes like this. Then, let us solve the values of A, B, and C respectively. Let's begin with solving for A. Look at the groups for B and C respectively. We have a factor that says s plus 1, also for the c, s plus 1. Let us set s to be equal to negative 1, so that b and c will be equal to 0 later. Changing all s by negative 1, it becomes like this. So, the b and c will be cancelled out. Simplifying now the group for a, also, the left side becomes negative 8 equals the a now is a multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2. When we divide this by 2, the value of a is negative 4. Let us substitute this negative 4 to the a value in equation 1. Let's go now to solving for b. Let us observe the groups for a and C respectively. Both have factors S plus 2. So, we're going to set S equals negative 2. We will change all S by negative 2. It becomes like this. By doing this, we're going to cancel out the variable A and C respectively. Then let us simplify the equation. The left side becomes negative 15 equals for the b, we have now this b times negative 1 times positive 1. Solving for b, it is now equal to positive 15. Let's substitute this value of b in here. Now let us solve for c. Take note that the groups for a and b have a common factor that is s plus 3. Therefore, let us set s equals negative 3. We will change now all s by negative 3 and it becomes like this. By doing this, the a variable and b variable will be cancelled out. Let us now simplify the equation. The left side becomes negative 22 equals now the variable c is alone, multiplied by negative 2, multiplied by negative 1. Solving for c, it is now equal to negative 11. Let's substitute this value of c in our equation 1. Now let's go to step 2. Let us evaluate our Laplace inverse using equivalent partial fractions. Meaning, we will do like this. 
we are now using the equivalent partial fractions that we derived from step 1. Then we will show that we are going to take the Laplace inverse respectively of each of the fraction. It becomes like this. Simplifying further, let us move the numerators in front of the Laplace inverse respectively. Then on this line, we can now apply our formula for the plus inverse and it becomes like this. For the first one, we have this negative 4 times e raised to negative t plus the constant 15 times e raised to negative 2t minus 11 times e raised to negative 3t. This is the final answer. Example 2. Find the plus inverse of s minus 1 all over the square of the quantity s plus 1 times s plus 2. Step 1. Let us express the function into partial fractions. Let's copy our fraction in here. Observing our denominator, it falls on this category. Let us now form the partial fractions like this. a over s plus 1 plus b over the square of s plus 1 plus c over s plus 2. This is our equation 1. Let us now solve for a, b, and c values respectively. Let us multiply this equation by the LCD. Take note that the LCD here is the denominator of the fraction on the left side. Multiplying now, we will get this equation. Then let us solve for B. Take note that the groups of A and C have common factor that is S plus 1. Let us now set S equals negative 1, meaning we will change all s by negative 1, and it becomes like this. By doing so, the variables a and c will be cancelled out. Let us simplify the equation further. The left side becomes negative 2 equals, for the b, it will be multiplied by 1. So the value of b is equal to negative 2. Let's substitute this b in our equation 1. Then let us solve for C. Let us observe that the groups for A and B have common factor, which is S plus 2. Therefore, let us set S equals negative 2. Let us change all S by negative 2, and by doing this, the variables A and B will be cancelled out. Let us simplify further the equation. On the left side, we have this negative 3 equals. The right side equals C. When we simplify this negative 2 plus 1, it will be negative 1. But there is a square here, so we have positive 1. Therefore, the value of C is negative 3. Let us substitute the value of C in here. Then let us solve for A. Look at the groups for B and C. There is no common factor. Therefore, to simplify further, let's say we set S equals 0. When we do that, all S will be equal to 0. Then let us simplify the equation. The left side becomes negative 1 equals 2A plus 2B plus C. From here, let us substitute the values for B and C respectively. Our B is negative 2 and the C is negative 3. Let us simplify further. This 2 by negative 2 is negative 4 plus negative 3. We have this negative 7. This negative 7, let's transpose on the left side. It becomes positive 7 and combined with negative 1. By then, let us divide this equation by 2 so that we will get the value of a as positive 3. Let us substitute 
this value of a into equation 1. Let's go to step 2. Let's evaluate our Laplace inverse problem in here using equivalent partial fractions. The partial fractions we derive from step 1. So our Laplace inverse here is not equal to this. Then let us show that we will take the Laplace inverse of each of the fractions. Simplifying further, the numerators we can put in front of the Laplace inverse respectively. Then, we will now apply our Laplace inverse formulas. We have here three Laplace inverse. We have a common formula for the first and the third Laplace inverse. For this Laplace inverse in the middle, we're going to apply the shifting property. I'm going to attach the link for the video for the shifting property of a plus inverse transform. The final answer now will be 3 times e raised to negative t minus the middle Laplace inverse is now 2 times e raised to negative t then multiplied by t minus the third Laplace inverse is 3 times e raised to negative 2t. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.